Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maddie. I'm a K-5 STEM teacher and ed tech coach in Los Angeles. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers and today's video specifically is going to be about how to use Google Jamboard during morning meeting. Now the ideas in today's video are very much applicable to in-person teaching, virtual teaching, a hybrid model, and if you aren't familiar with Google Jamboard, if you've never used it before, I highly recommend you check out my Google Jamboard video tutorial. I'll have it linked in the video description below in case you'd like to check it out. Today's video is really gonna be just focusing specifically on ideas for how to use Google Jamboard. So it's not a tutorial video, just some ideas that I hope will be helpful in thinking about ways you can use the tool during morning meeting. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first activity that we're going to look at is how to use Google Jamboard for a calendar activity. Now I know that in a lot of elementary school classrooms, calendar time is really important in helping teach students about the different days of the week. And so what I like about this activity is that it's something that's really familiar for students, except in a digital format. So you'll see I've already gone ahead and done a little bit of prep work here. I've added this background. I actually created this in Google Slides and just uploaded it as an image background. So you'll see a lot of this is locked, right? You can't actually change the, the calendar itself, but I have a new sticky note for every single day of the week, uh, for every single day of the month. And the example that you're looking at here is actually for the month of March. So I have added a, sticky, a transparent sticky note here to indicate that the month is March. So I've done the prep work, I've set this up. By the way, I am going to have a link to this activity in the video description in case you'd like to try it with your students. I'll have it set up just like this. Now I'm gonna walk you through how this activity actually works. So on the left-hand side here, we have today is, yesterday was, and tomorrow is. So the way this works is that you can, just like how you teach the calendar in your classroom with your students, you can go ahead and say, today is Tuesday, for example. Yesterday was Monday and tomorrow is Wednesday. And so I've already added these text boxes here for you to make it really simple and easy for you to use. I also like this added touch of it being color coordinated. You'll see that I have Monday as yellow, Tuesday as green, Wednesday blue, Thursday pink, and Friday orange. And so what you can also do here is you can actually change the color of the text. So for Tuesday, I might go ahead and add the color green. For Monday, I might go ahead and add yellow. And then lastly, for Wednesday, I could add blue. So that's just one example of how you could take this slightly further and help uh, make things organized by keeping it color coded. And now the last step is, of course, to actually circle the day that it actually is. So today for, for this example, let's say it is Tuesday, March 2nd. So what you can go ahead and do is on the right hand side here, there's the shape tool. Now you'll see I've already been playing around with this. So I've changed the colors a little bit. I've just created a red circle with a red border and a transparent background so I can actually circle something. So I'll go ahead and select this circle tool and I'll just click and drag to actually create a circle around Tuesday, March 2nd. So that's how you could do this first activity here on this first page. If you're teaching virtually, this is something that you can project or screen share, excuse me, during morning meeting. And if you're teaching in person, this is something that you could project on your board as well. So now I'm just gonna go to the next frame here. So I'll click on this little arrow button to go to the next frame. And now we can continue on with the weather portion of this calendar activity. So right now I have, again, this set up for you. If you'd like it, link in the video description. So I have it here. It says today the weather is and then a little square where basically what you can do is you can just click on one of these shapes uh, of the weather and drag it and drop it. And so now it'll say today the weather is sunny. Now on the right hand side, there's also this thermometer. I think that this is kind of fun. I created this basically the way it works is you can just click on this rectangle here and drag it to share what the temperature is. So I have hot, just right, and cold. So let's move on to the next activity. So this next activity that we're looking at here is a morning share activity. Now, if you've watched my YouTube videos before, I'm always talking about the responsive classroom morning meeting structure. That's a structure that I highly recommend teachers use. I think it's a really great way to add predictability and routine and structure to morning meeting. Um, so if you aren't familiar with uh, responsive classroom, I will have a link to that in the video description down below for you to check out. And of course, I will also have this activity linked as well. Now what we're looking at here is an example of a morning share activity that you could do using Google Jamboard during morning meeting. So on this first page here, you'll see that I've already done some pre-work just like with the previous activity. Basically what I've done is I created this background in Google Slides. I added this text that says news and announcements. I added this image in the bottom right hand corner. 
and I saved this as an image. I saved the slides file as an image and uploaded it as the background to this Google Jamboard file. Now you'll see that in Google Jamboard, I also added all these different sticky notes. So the way this activity works is that I created a new sticky note for every single student in the class. So you'll see I have 20 sticky notes here. And the way this works is students are either assigned a number. So let's say in your class, you have each student is assigned a different number, or instead you could also, instead of using these numbers, you could actually add the student's name. Now what I've, I've gotten a lot of feedback from teachers who have said that Google Jamboard can be a little bit tricky from a classroom management perspective because students are you know, able to edit each other's work and stuff. And so I found that this model where each student is assigned a different sticky note can be really, really helpful from this classroom management perspective. Students sort of have their own specific area that they know they're supposed to edit, and it eliminates a lot of the issues that I found that teachers experience with this tool. So again, the way this works is let's say I am student number three. I could just double click on this sticky note and I can add my news or my announcement. So I could just delete the number three and I could say my news is that I got a puppy this weekend or something like that. And then when I'm ready, I can press the save button. So the way that you would share this activity with students is if you're teaching virtually, you could drop a link to this activity in the chat for students to then click on and start editing. And if you are teaching in, in person, you could either distribute this activity through Google Classroom, through your LMS, or however you typically like to share activities with students. So again, the two ways that I would share this activity if you're teaching virtually through the chat is a really just great strategy, or if you're teaching uh, in person, you can share it with them ahead of time. So that would require a little bit of prep. Um, ahead of time, like I said, but I think that morning meeting is just a really great time to introduce Google Jamboard through an activity like this. That's a non academic activity, uh, but it's a really great way to introduce students to this new tool. Next, we'll take a look at this other example. So here, very similar. Each student has their own sticky note. The prompt here instead says, what do you hope will happen today? Um, so again, students can just double click on a sticky note to edit it and to add their morning share response. And then lastly, my third example here is a quote. I really like to share quotes with students. I think that morning meeting is a really great time to get students reflecting on different quotes. So this is an example. It says, mistakes are proof that you are trying. What does this quote mean to you? So students, again, they can just double click on a sticky note. They can add their response, and then you can take turns either sharing them out loud, or you can select a few that you'd like to share with the class. The last and final activity that I want to share is this this or that activity. So again, a part of the morning meeting structure that Responsive Classroom recommends is to have some sort of group activity. Now, no matter what structure you use during morning meeting, activity is always really popular. It's a huge hit with students. And so like I said, again, this is an example of a this or that activity. So the way this one works is basically students, again, are assigned their own sticky note. And what they can do is they can just click on it and drag it to either the this or the that category. So again, teaching virtually, this is something that you could just drop in the chat for students. If you're teaching in person, this is um, something that you could share with students uh, through ahead of time, through your LMS, through Google Classroom, whatever strategies you tend to use to distribute digital assignments. So we have this apple or banana option. There's also this uh, snow or sunshine uh, option here as well. And then lastly, dog or cat. So again, really fun way to introduce Google Jamboard to students. They really love this or that. I've found that this is just a really popular activity with all elementary students, and I think it will be a hit with your students as well. If you like this activity, again, it'll be linked in the video description down below for you to check out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye, friends.